Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about how to create your own uh, note paper or a pattern paper where you can write in stuff or write in your letters or jot down notes. So let's get started. To begin, uh, let's open file and new. Choose 8 into 11 inches so that it prints on your A4 size paper. And you can choose the bleed if you want. I'll just put it as 0 for now. In your advanced options, you can set it to CMYK because we are going to print it. And then the resolution is set to 300 ppi. Click Create. First, we'll start by making our elements. That's flowers and stuff. So let me just bring in the color palette. I'll mention all these colors in the description box. You can go pick it up from there. Let's first create the orange flowers to begin with. So go to your ellipse tool, right click, ellipse tool. Click and drag to make an ellipse. Now press I on your keyboard to go to the eyedropper tool and select orange. Press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste on top. Now we're gonna rotate this. So go ahead and click on the rotate tool and bring this blue anchor to this point over here and click and turn it around to turn it to whatever direction you want. So let's make one more, Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Now click on your selection tool, go back to your rotate tool, click and drag it to the center or the bottom, click and drag. Go back to your selection tool, click and select everything. Now go to your transparency panel. If you cannot find it there, go to window and then transparency. Let's reduce this to yeah, maybe around this much. You can also adjust this one to rotate in whatever direction you want. For example, I'll just click on this again, go back here, bring it to the center, and then turn it a little bit to create that asymmetric effect. Let's go ahead and make the next flower in the same method. Click, drag and make one. And now Control C, Control F, click on the rotate tool, bring it up here, click and Selection to click and select everything and reduce the transparency to 56. Let's keep this aside, select everything and put it to a side. Now it's time to make the second set of flowers. To click on ellipse tool, click and drag and make a thinner ellipse, a little longer ellipse. Now let's color this yellow. Press I on your keyboard, color it yellow and press V to go back to the selection tool. Now let's go to the pen tool, right click and click on anchor point tool and click on this point to make it a pointed edged side or whatever. So click on the selection tool now and you have a petal which is completely different in shape. Now we have to rotate this to make a flower. So Control C and Control F and go to your rotate tool. Let's click this one and drag this all the way to the center. Click and drag to make a copy. Let's do the same thing once more. Okay, so the pattern's ready. Now we're gonna change the color of these two patterns right here. Hold your shift key down and select both of these. And then you can see your color swatches here. If you cannot see this, go to window and then color. And the last option which says K, we're gonna drag it a little bit so that that's a little darker than how we want. And now if you click outside, you can see that it's not, uh, it doesn't look like it's behind these uh, petals. So what we're going to do is click, hold your shift key and click these two and press command shift and open square bracket to send it to back. You can also do right click, arrange and send to back. So that's done. Now it's time for these three petals. So click on these three petals right here and then go to your gradient. If you cannot see gradient here, again, it's in window and gradient. So anything you see right here, all the options right here can be found under window. So let's select linear, but as you can see, the color is different. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this and select a yellow from the list. And then I'm going to click, double click on this one and select white to make it something like this. Now just let's select this and reduce the transparency to 63. 
Now it's time to make the leaves. So go ahead to your ellipse tool, click and drag to make an ellipse. Let's color this green. So I and OK. Go back to your selection tool. Click and click and click. We have our leaf ready. But as you can see, it's a little different because it's kind of modified. So to modify this leaf, you can click on your curvature tool and then adjust it like however you want. So we're going to add a line right here. So go to your pen tool, right click and pen tool. Click and click and drag to make it any shape you want. Now this color is set to this one. So I'm going to press V on my keyboard so that it's selected. I and I'm just going to click on this one. So it's fill. Make sure you flip it. All right. So we have one of the leaves ready. And the next one that we have right here is this particular leaf. So let's just try to make that as well. Again, we're going to start with the ellipse. Click and make a really long line. And let's switch this. Go to your anchor point tool and let's do this. Now let's go to our curvature tool and let's try to adjust this to click and drag this line here so that it will go up a little bit. And this one, click and drag it a little down so that it will go down. A little bit you can adjust it like however you want it's not necessary that it should look like this it's going to go ahead and uh, okay okay so this leaf is ready as well so let's just arrange this to make our pattern so first I'm gonna go ahead and group these individual items together that is I'm just gonna click and drag and select the things and press Command G to group them. So let's do that to everything. Let me move everything outside. I need to change the size, so hold your shift key down and drag and pull. Let's make a copy of this. Hold your option key down, click and drag. This one needs to be much smaller because it's a bud. Okay, now let's, let's make the stalks. Go to your pen tool, right click and pen tool. Click, click and drag. Then click here and then drag to make it a straight line. Press V on your keyboard to select that and let's just flip this. Click on your stroke, press I on your keyboard and select the color. Oh. To switch this to stroke. Let's go ahead and change the stroke. If you cannot find it again, window and stroke. 1.2 about 4. So it's a stock. Let's make it a little thinner. 3. Make sure it's rounded cap and rounded join. As you can see, the bud is behind. So let's just click on the bud and press Command Shift and close square bracket so that it moves in the front. So let's make the stock for this as well. I'm just going to make another copy of this here. Okay, so let's arrange the leaves right now. To do that, uh, click on this. Let's make some copies of it. Hold your option key down, click and drag. Let's just bring this. This is too big. Hold your shift key down and drag. Let's rotate this and place it right here. So we need one for the other side. So click on this, Control C and Control F, and right click, Transform, Reflect, and choose the Vertical Reflect and click OK. Let's drag this and put this here. If you want the leaf to be on the front, so you just have to press Command Shift and close square bracket. 
Let's do the same thing for this one, but in here we're going to make it different size. So hold your shift key down, click and drag. And let's make it a little longer. Rotate. Right click, transform, reflect, click on vertical and say copy. Click and drag. Let's make this a little smaller. Now it's time for the next leaf. Right click, transform and reflect. Copy. It's option, shift and drag. Let's make it a little thinner. Okay, so let's do the same thing for other flowers as well. All right, now it's time to make the last item and that is go to your right click, star tool, click and drag to make a, make a tiny star and go to your direct selection tool and click on this round and drag it in. To make it this. Now let's color this yellow. Press I on your keyboard and click and color it yellow. Let's copy this down. Hold your option key down, click and drag. Now hold your shift key down, click and drag to make it smaller. So let's just make few copies of this around. All right, so we have our elements ready and now it's time to put in notes and stuff. So I'll lock this layer for now. Click on new layer. If you cannot see layers, go to window and layer. Right click and click on rounded rectangle tool and let's make a rounded rectangle right here. And let's switch this to make it stroke color. And you can choose any color you want. Uh, you could keep it yellow or you could keep it green or something like that. Okay, let's press I and select something green and obviously switch this. Now let's put a heading right here. You could type in notes or you could also type in a give, not give a heading and just put lines in here so that it will be something like a letter paper or where you can write letters to your friends. So let's put in our heading or title. Click. Let's type in notes. Just going to double click that and my preferred choice is Maria standard tilt and I'm gonna make this I guess 50 let's check it that should be fine click on your selection tool and drag it so before that let's click on this rectangle and make sure it's in center you can press horizontal align and vertical align if you cannot see this again you can go to window align let's click on this one center align and horizontal align Make sure it's set to align to artboard and not to selection. Let's change this color. Now it's time to put in lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this one, go and create a new layer and go to your line tool, line segment tool, uh, click. The first one is going to be a plain line. So you see how this moves here. If you don't want to move it here and uh, get a straight line, you have to hold your shift key down and then it will be magic. Okay, so let's click on stroke. But first we have to give it a color. Let's give this switch so that it's to set to stroke. Now if you see, you can see that it's a plain straight line. If you don't plan on putting a headline, you don't have to put a plain straight line. You can just fill it with lines. So let's do the next one. Hold your shift key down. Click and drag. And let's make this go to your stroke. Let's make this dashed line and I'm going to put it to three points. And then round cap and rounded edges. And you can check this one as well to make sure it's. I think I'm going to go with this one. Adjusting the lens to fit. Okay, so this, let's just click outside and see how it looks. I think this is way too strong, the color. Maybe something lighter would be nice because when you print it, you obviously want your uh, handwriting to be legible and much and stand out instead of the lines. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it to this one.
Okay, so now we have to copy this. So click on this, hold your option key down, shift key down, click and drag and select a distance that you want. Now it's very simple to fill out the page. Keep pressing Command D or Control D and you can fill out the page. Okay, this is how it looks, but the design is too strong. Obviously, if you write on it, it might not look good. So let's just lock this layer. Go back to your layer one where you created your design. Un unlock this layer and now press command A to select everything. So obviously we have other stuff here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these things because we don't need it anymore. Now we're going to change the transparency of this level. Press control A or command A to select everything. Go to your transparency panel. If you cannot see it here, go to window transparency and click and let's just change this to about 50%. Click outside and uh, I think this is okay. Okay, so you have your transparency set and this looks fine. Now it's time to export it. So go to file. You can say save a copy or save as, but make sure before you do that, you have an Illustrator file saved because now we're gonna export this or save it as a PDF, but without editing capabilities. So what this does is one, it does not let you edit it again in Illustrator. You can't make any more for modifications. You can just print the PDF. And the second one, main advantage of saving it as a PDF with, without the editing capabilities is that it reduces the size of the PDF a lot. Now let's save it as a copy because I haven't saved the Illustrator file. Click and choose Adobe PDF and you could make it as, I'm just gonna save it as a copy because I have one already. And then click on save. Here, I'm just going to change it to high quality print. Uncheck this one and then save PDF. It gives an error, okay. It's just trying to tell you that make sure you save a copy because you won't be able to edit it again. Now it's time to go ahead and open our PDF. So go to your file and there it is, double click. And there you go, this is the file that you created right now. And it does cut off all the extra things because it just exports what's on the artboard. Okay, so thanks for watching and this is how you create a pattern paper to write your letters on or notes on or whatever. I'm just gonna leave a link to download this whatever I've created right now as a PDF and I'll also leave a note to download the Illustrator file so that if you want you can go ahead and experiment with it. Please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're new here. And do go check out my other videos and my blog because I give out some freebies over there all the time. If you have any questions or how to do certain things in Illustrator or Photoshop, do leave a comment and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week, probably. Bye-bye.